Here we are in Dyersville, Iowa, home of a field of dreams. And um, uh, today, this week is National Public Works Week. Today, we, we've got a special event here at the James Kennedy Public Library. Our Public Works Department teaming with the um, James Kennedy Public Library to put on a water and wastewater expo. So, um, cameraman, why don't you pan over here real quick? And what we have here is just a number of different things on exhibit, on display. We're going to walk around and, and show you these. Then we're going to go inside and, and show you what we have inside. So, follow me. We've got Danielle Will here. She's an engineer with Farm Tech, also a corporation here in Dyersville. She's going to be demonstrating how filtration works. She's going to take dirty water and, and allow the kids or, or whoever to participate in helping to make that dirty water clean through filtration. So she's going to be showing us that when we get started. And, and so, uh, did I cover it? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Walk this way. Here we have a number of our tools that we use for maintaining a water system. So what we have here is, is when, when a, a water service line connects to the water main, we use this, we call it a saddle, and we use a, a corporation stop, which is a valve. And the, the valve is really only open once. You, you connect it, you open it, and it's good to go, and you bury it. Okay, once you get to the to the curb or to the sidewalk, you have what's called a, a curb stop. It's another valve. You realize these are all buried five to six feet deep. And then you have a tube that goes up to the surface and you're able to put a key on to turn the water on and off for the residents. So this is your residential service line. Then it goes into the building and then you have your meter inside the building. So this is just kind of a little model showing what a service line looks like. We've got other tools here, a fire hydrant wrench. This is a wrench for opening and closing valves. Um, this is actually, zoom in on this, this is a, an existing water main we found where there's a water main break. This is a, a ductile iron pipe, and if you look on the side here, it had a hole in it, and the hole was going so long that it literally eroded the pipe away. The water coming out eroded the pipe. That's what caused that hole there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, at the surface of water valves, you have this called a water valve box. You've seen these in, in roads. Open that up and there's a tube going down. Put the key in, that's how you open and close valves. So, all right, walk this way. Here we've got a cutout of a fire hydrant. Uh, this was a, a, a loan to us by Kennedy Valve. Um, we use Kennedy hydrants in town. This actually would normally be buried way down and connect to the water main. Um, so, I mean, that would be like five feet long or tall. Put the valve on, valve wrench on, open it or close it. That's how a fire engine works. So, feel free to ask questions there, cameraman. Here we have a water tower. Well, this is a model of how a water tower works. What you may not realize is the reason for a water tower, an elevated water tower, is to provide pressure to the system. Water tower is basically directly connected through pipes right to your house. When you open the valve on your faucet, it's a direct connection from the water tower all the way down to your house, to your faucet. And so we're going to demonstrate that here. We've got, <clears throat> so this is our water tower, and we've got water in here, um, uh, half full, partially full. And there's water in this hose, so this is like a pipe. And this is like your hose connected to your house. I open this, the water comes out fairly quickly, right? Because I'm much lower than the water tower. As I start to go up, it slows down. All right? And, and there's going to come a point where the water's going to stop running. And if you look at this, you can see the water level in the tube. That's the, the very water level. Once it stops, it's the very water level that is in that <clears throat> that cooler there, our water tower. So um, if your houses are much lower than the water tower, your pressure is going to be high. As you start to build houses up in the hills, 
water pressure is going to get lower and lower and you're going to come to a point where where um, you're not going to be able to serve the house with the water tower. We actually had that situation in town. We had some houses that were being built up in the hills and <coughs> before they could connect to the water system we had to build a water booster station that would allow the pressure to be higher in those upper areas. And um, there's also other existing homes up there that we were able to serve. All right, so down here we have a, just a demonstration of a tool that we have mounted on the front of this pickup. This is, so one of the things we're very conscious about is the health of our workers. And manhole covers are very heavy. You can strain yourself, you can injure yourself by lifting it. So, you know, whatever tools we can find to help us with that, we will. This is a manhole cover lifter. And, <coughs> excuse me, it's got a magnet on it, and it's magnetically, it'll lift that mantle. Um, it's being controlled remotely right now, not by me, and you can see we're lifting it up. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> That's how that works. Um, I mentioned the water valves. We've got 900 water valves in town, and those have to be exercised closed and opened um, regularly, 900 valves. Again, it's not the healthiest thing for somebody to strain and have to turn that. So we've got this piece of equipment that allows us to exercise those water valves. This also has a vacuum in it. We can actually do potholing. You may or may not know what that means. Um, and it <coughs> has a, um, a pressure washer on it. So. It's a great tool for us, the water and wastewater department. <clears throat> I am really losing my voice. <laughs> this is a, a, one of our uh, workers' trucks, fully equipped toolbox, everything. Great gun. Here we have um, this is what the wastewater looks like when it comes in to the wastewater plant, and then this is what it looks like when it comes out. And I'm not sure what this is. Hey, Joanne, what's this? Sorry to interrupt you. <clears throat> We're all, we all have suckers here. <clears throat> so this is when it comes in. This That's is what, when it comes in. Yeah. yeah. So when it comes in, it looks like that. Talk, talk to him. <laughs> so when the water comes into our wastewater plant, it actually looks like this. It's all dirty, stuff like that. After it goes through all the processing and right before it goes out to the river, it actually gets this clear. When it goes through all the processes, this is what it ends up looking like. Kind of like drinking water, but uh, not for humans, for fishes. It won't kill them or anything. In between, this is actually when it starts settling. So if you see, there's clear on the top and fuzzy on the bottom. The fuzzy is actually all the sludge, and that is what we take all the water out and actually put onto the fields for the farmer field to the first measure. What's this? This is our sewer channel nozzle. Oh. So this sure. actually goes through and cleans out our man, our all of our sewer pipes. And if we can't get to one of the manholes with the magnet, this is one of our picks that we actually can lift them up with. Very cool. Thank you so much, Joanne. We're on live stream on uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, here we have one of this is a, a crane that we use in the water wastewater department. Actually, the streets as well. Mounted on a pickup utility truck. And we use this to lift heavy things up. Um, let's see. We got a demo for this? Who's got the remote? Oh, oh that's right. This is Joe. There it is. All right, cool. TJ's going to run it for you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a crane, you know, it works like a crane, so. Uh-oh, it's not working. Oh, you got to have a truck up. Hey, turn the lights on, too. Tim. Turn the lights on. So, okay, I mean, he's going to demonstrate this.
and this can pick up up to 3,200 pounds. So this is nowhere near that. That's uh, almost a, what, over a ton and a half. So, uh, a lot of the time, what we use it for is for uh, uh, trash baskets and lift stations. So we're all the sewer, the sewer goes to, it goes to where the booster station has to be, and we use this for cleaning out the trash baskets. And the pumps, pumps can be pretty good. Yep. Yeah, and this is also for breaking the pumps. Yeah, some of our pumps are, are huge. Awesome. Thanks, DJ. Appreciate it. That's DJ. Um, this is our, our sewer camera trailer. Look at that. I did not do that. This is a picture of it. That's actually the picture of some debris that we found in one of our sewers. So we actually send a camera down each of our sewers, inspect them on a regular basis. I think we, we get the whole town covered every four years. So we do a quarter of the town each time, so. Um, you walk this way, I think uh, this is what the camera looks like. So, you know, it, it, it has little wheels on it that are set for a sewer and it, it climbs down the sewer and, and cameras and, Paul, that's you and that's me. It's looking at us, that camera's, <laughs> the camera's looking at us right now. So that's how it works. So it sees people too, that's a pretty good camera, look at that. Anyway, so that's that. All right, should we go inside? Yeah, let's go. Over that way. There's not many people here yet, so we're not going to see anyone. That's fine. So here we have some giveaways. Um, we're going to be um, we're going to be picking names, you know, filling out lots of giveaways. Here we've got a historic map of uh, the, the sewer system Dyersville. This is from June of 1912. And these are, these are the sewers that are in place right now. It shows the sizes and the directions. There's a lot of eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch. Um, not every one of those is built. We found there's some of them on the south side of town that we wished were built, but they weren't built. And so now we gotta build them. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, um, we so, also have ice cream available. Oh yeah, so. we will have. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when does that start? Uh, whenever the people show up to help us with that. So. Oh okay. Right. Any, any, any moment now if you're watching <laughs> this live. Now. So, um, yeah, if you want to come out and join us, feel free to do that. We're going to be giving a presentation here at six o'clock on how Dyersville's water and wastewater systems work, and uh, it should be great. Thank you. Okay.